Day on Youth Pastor Man. I'm dropped off in Mulberry, Florida in the Willow Oak area. I'm gonna brave the tropic heat, the South Florida rain, and do my very best to pick up all the trash and the litter left over from the teenagers on a Wednesday night. Today on this episode of Youth Pastor Man, I'm gonna go through and find all of the... Oh, I'm going to go through and find all of the litter and the trash that our teenagers, apparently in this youth group, who don't know how to, to throw away their trash, apparently their youth pastor, me, youth pastor man, has to go behind them and find all of the litter that's out in the parking lot and around these woods in the heart of Mulberry, in the Willow Oak area, and I'm going to throw all this trash away for them today. We're going to take care of the litter problem that we've been having. <laughs> Just stumbled across something here. This particular litter bug put her own name on her own litter. That's audacity. So, Angelica Rodriguez, the police are coming to your home, the litter police, and they're gonna get you. You can't just keep throwing your junk out all the time, putting your name on it, expecting nobody to care. People care. So here I am, just uh, me and my camera, and a whole lot of litter. I think it's starting to get dark. Uh, looking at the sun, it's a little bit hid today because of the rain. But I think, um, yeah, I think we have about four hours until it's going to get dark. I've really got to get this done before it gets dark because uh, Youth Pastor Man does not like to sleep on the playground at night. That's not a good, I had a bad experience once. <laughs> When you're, when you're taking out the trash like this, you end up with these huge bags of trash, and they're white, because for whatever reason, we ended up with white trash bags, and uh, they get really heavy. This one time I was out here taking out the trash like this, and uh, this little kid came up, thought I was Santa Claus. I had, to, I had to put him on my knee, ask him what he wanted for Christmas and all that stuff, man. It would have totally ruined his Christmas if I hadn't. And, uh, didn't have hardly any choice because these stupid big trash bags. It was really humiliating. This is it. This is this is just just filth. This is just filth. I'm telling you, just filth. When you're in situations like this, it's really important that you don't sweat. When you start sweating, man. You really start stinking, and then all the girls will not want to be around you at all. So whatever you do, you want to make sure you don't sweat. If you start sweating, you really need to just sit down and let your body naturally cool off. And just, just when you think it's all over, there's like more litter every time I turn around. I don't, I don't know if I can keep going on like this. I mean, it's days and days and days uh, with, with nothing but trash to pick up. I just have to keep, keep going on. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. I don't know if you can tell, but it's beginning to rain. And, uh, and that's not the Holy Ghost downpour either. I really got to get all this litter picked up before it rains because once it rains the litter actually begins to like I don't know if you can see this but it actually begins to to like like become part of the ground and it just sticks to it and then you're just pulling and pulling and it takes forever and it, and it doesn't want to come up so we've got to get this up when you're when you're out here picking up litter like this it can be a it can, it, it can make you feel famished it can make you feel like you haven't eaten in like weeks when it's really only been like three days and uh, 
So we really got to start looking to see if I can find some food. I've got to do something about these hunger cramps I'm having. And uh, I don't know what, but hopefully we can find something out here on the playground. I seem to have stumbled across something, man. This is this is wonderful. It seems like one of the one of the teenagers or one of the children from Wednesday night has left. Like I, I don't know if they dropped it or what, but there's a, a piece of a Snickers candy bar with real peanuts and caramel and all that stuff. And it seems like they've left it. Let me let me turn around so if I I can I can show it to you here. Um, let me see if you can see it. Oh. Yeah, it's right there. See that? That's a piece of a. That's a piece of a. Uh, oh, this is good stuff right here. Yeah, this is this is really good stuff. This is a piece of a piece of a candy bar. It's got some. It's it's got some it's got some dirt and stuff like that on it. But uh, but I think it's gonna be okay to eat. I think it's gonna be completely edible. And uh, and uh, oh man, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be delicious. This is gonna be awesome. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is good stuff. Oh man, you can't get this in the wild. This only comes from Circle K. Oh yeah, this is good stuff right here. Man, it's almost like as I'm eating it, I can feel my carbohydrates just like multiplying, and it feels like, except for the dirt, it feels like, man, I, all this energy is just like erupting out of me, man. I could run a marathon right now. I could pick up so much litter. The downside is it makes you really thirsty, and uh, we gotta walk around here and see if we can we can find a drink. Actually, wait, there's some empty soda cans along the fence. Let me see if I can find something out of one of those old soda cans, and maybe we can get something yeah. out of that. I've stumbled across, like I said, I found some uh, old Coke cans, or actually it's crushed, is what it is. But this one actually still has some left in it right here. Let's see if we can see it, and uh, as you can see, yeah, still has some left over from last night. So I'm gonna. Oh yeah, that's that's great. Let me set this camera on the tripod and I'm gonna get me a drink. Yep. This is the except for the leaf and all that, this is good stuff. And the thing with orange crushes, it's almost got vitamin C in it. It's almost like orange juice. So it's really nourishing and uh, really helps to just uh you know build your electrolytes when you're out here trying to uh, you know, pick up all this litter. What you really gotta watch out for is when you're drinking these, like I just had one right there, you gotta watch for the ants, because the ants are attracted to the sugar in the soda, and they'll cloud all around the bottle, and you think you get them all off the edge, but then down deep inside, there's ants inside there. And so you really gotta make sure you get all the ants out of the soda bottle before you drink it, otherwise you end up drinking the ants. Which isn't so bad, because then it's more protein. <laughs> I just found, found something here on the east side of the sanctuary that I found kind of interesting. And uh, it just proves, you see what this is? If you can see what this is on the camera, I don't know. This is Diet Pepsi. This just goes to prove that it's not only our teenagers who are littering. There were three Diet Pepsi cans right here next to the sanctuary. That's the older people. I don't know any teenager in their right mind who's drinking Diet Pepsi. And we didn't even sell it in the cafe. So that just proves the older folks are trying to sabotage the teenagers and make them look bad by littering in places that the teenagers were. But, Brother Shelton, I know you were drinking Diet Pepsi and throwing it out here on the side of the sanctuary. And, uh, I'm on to you. I'm on to you. like that this concludes this episode of youth pastor man and uh, as you can see I gotta get your litter every Thursday and it pretty much sucks I'm pretty much drained um, you know all I can do now is sleep it off and uh, so uh, next week don't be littering please let your let your garbage find its home its fortress of solitude if you will let it go home don't don't just throw it down on the tra on the on the road that's not cool so uh until next time, I'm Brent Simpson, Youth Pastor Man, and I'll catch you later.